I was sitting at my desk and I received the call on my cell phone and the doctor let me know right away he had really bad news and not the type of bad news that we would uh, normally expect under these circumstances and then he followed up very quickly to let me know that Carolyn was pregnant but they had thought and transferred another couple's embryos and that so we were uh, pregnant with another couple's genetic child and it was just news that uh, no one would ever ever expect to, to learn um, shocking and disturbing and uh, my immediate thoughts at that point were to, to uh, how am I going to tell Carolyn and, and I wanted to do it in person. He kind of burst through the door of, of our bedroom where I was and uh, just, just blurted it out. He said your pregnancy test was positive, um, you're pregnant with, they transferred uh, the embryos of another couple. Um, you're pregnant with somebody else's baby. And I think I, by the end of it, I was yelling at him. Um, I, I think I just burst into tears. Uh, was rather hysterical, um, kind of. It was not a, a grace-filled moment at all. I do hold somebody accountable. I just don't know who because we've never been afforded an explanation as to what has happened. Hopefully someday an explanation will come. Um, but uh, as of right now, uh, we just don't know. We don't know who is responsible for it. We, we looked at each other um, after um, the initial shock, um, uh, and we both, we both knew that uh, we, would, we would not terminate the pregnancy. And, and uh, so we had a meeting of the minds immediately. It was, it was based on our belief system, and uh, we knew that we had a path now to go down and we had to figure out how to navigate it. I've, I've compared it to having somebody else's child at our house um, to play and uh, if they get hurt while they're in my custody, um, I tend to be a little bit more hypervigilant about the, that with somebody else's child. Um, so I think there's been some hypervigilance with the care for this pregnancy because he belongs to somebody else and we feel an extra responsibility. We know, we take comfort in the fact that, that he's already loved um, by the Morell family as well. And, and so he's just, someday I'd like him to know it, it wasn't that we, we didn't want him or love him. It was that he was loved by so many people um, and he is going to be raised and loved by the people who wanted and intended to be his parents when he was conceived.